Let's run through how you might set this drawing up so that it plots 1 to 100 on an A1 sheet. I'm in model space here. First thing I do is just check my dimensions. So I'll just move up a little and I've got a scale bar in here. What I'm going to do is to select that scale bar and just check a distance. So if I select that line there, the length is a metre, which is what we expect. You might want to use the distance command and snap from one end to the other. Just confirms in my mind that this is full size. There's the scale bar gives us a five metre length. So I'll right click and zoom extents. Sometimes when you zoom extents, you'll find lines or other entities way off to the left and right. Now's a good time to remove those. So now we move to the format drop down and pick layouts. We're going to create a new layout, so let's click on this new layout option. And we're going to select an A1 sheet. We want an A1 sheet in portrait or book mode, and we'll go OK. I like to give my layouts a meaningful name, so I'm going to call this A1 sheet 1 100. I'll hit enter to burn that in, so I'll go OK. And this is the view that I get. And the reason for giving us a, a meaningful name is you'll quite often pick up lots of tabs across here showing different parts of your design. And you really want to be confident about what's on a particular page. So now we can zoom extents. And there is our drawing sitting there. What I would do then is just click or select the edge of the floating viewport and the required scale here is 100. You notice it's 71 at the moment. So if I do that, I get a 1 to 100 scale. I haven't fixed it at the moment. And the reason for that is that I want to I'll unselect all. I want to double click in there, which takes me into the drawing. What I want to do is just to adjust my view display now on the layout so and then i'll deactivate the viewport so that i get um, my floating viewpoint cropped rather nicely so now i can select it and change that scale again to one to 100 that should shrink it and then i'll move it across to the left and position it on the sheet exactly how i want it you might want it up here at that point if I double click in there again, notice in this zone here, you can't actually change things. You can move the, the floating viewport around, but uh, you can't change the area that it must. That's because of this fixed scale. So you need to be on top of that. So we display it on the layer and then deactivate it. What that gives us is the ability to put other entities in and around here. Uh, I notice there's a water feature in here, so you might want to put images around here illustrating the type of water feature. So that gives you an A1 sheet at 1 to 100. And then when you print, what I would then do, as you know, is to select that, whoops, wrong again, display that on the layout and deactivate it. What I just want to do is one single selection of that, and I'll change its color to 255 white so that it the border will be white on a white background and so it won't show. You would of course add your title block information and your logo here. If I select say the logo you can see that the logo is inserted directly into layout space, it's not in model space. If I wanted to show um, let's say an example of the water feature, I'd come back to model and I'd insert an image here of the type of water feature that I want. It's in model space. So what I need to do is go back into the layout, right click and add a viewport. So I'll put an, a viewport frame up in this zone with the aspect ratio pretty similar to that which we've set up already. I'll double click in there and then change my little view box so that this time we don't have to worry ourselves about size. So making sure that the frame sits around the image. So then display on the layout 
and then deactivate it. Um, you can see here the little dots there, it's because I've got grid on. That can be a problem when you create uh, PDF files using our file and save as PDF because uh, the little dots will appear. So again, select that, change its color to 255, which is already now in the color palette, and then unselect all. So now we have a page with our logo, an A1 sheet in portrait mode with a logo on it, details of the site. This is sitting at 1 to 100, so we could put some text in there saying scaled at 1 to 100. And when we go to print a PDF file, we make sure that we go File and Print. Setting up your printer, I'll select a PDF writer. I like Qt PDF. We're going in portrait mode and we say OK. Um, we're not going to fit to paper because we want a scale of 1 equals 1. And we can preview that. Of course, let me just hit the escape key. What I didn't pay attention to was print and change my cute PDF writer, pick its properties, paper and quality, advanced, and of course not A4, we want A1, which is not actually showing. Here it is, ISO A1, and we can OK that, and OK that again, and again. Now let's preview our sheet. This time you can see the red area shows the whole sheet printed at 1 to 1, and that gives you a precise 1 to 100 in there. So I can hit the Enter to go to the Print dialog and then OK it. And the PDF file we generated, I'll be given the option of putting that file wherever I want it. And uh, in this instance, I'll just put it onto the desktop as a light cat drawing. So I'll go to the desktop and do it. But you should give it a meaningful name at that point. So I hope that helps in sorting out some issues in using layouts and printing.